Welcome to Performance Center 9. Performance Center 9's privilege management enables you to assign privileges to Performance Center users so that they can manage Performance Center resources, assets, and projects from the Performance Center administration and user sites. After defining users, user roles, and projects in Performance Center, we use the new Privilege Manager to create three-way associations between these elements. The Privilege Management page lists these associations. It is also a portal to the pages where these associations are managed. Roles in Performance Center are divided into two types, Performance Center roles and project level roles. The Performance Center roles enable a user to manage Performance Center resources and assets from the administration site. The project level roles allow the load tester to manage load testing operations. They also enable load testers to perform administrative tasks relevant to the load test that they are working with. We can assign multiple roles to any user in a project. Let's create a Performance Center role. In the Performance Center administration site, click the Roles link. On the left side of the Privilege Management page, we can see the two levels of roles that we can create, Performance Center roles and Project Level roles. The tabs display lists of roles defined for each of these levels. When we select a role, the permissions it includes are displayed on the right. The permissions are divided into categories. Performance Center level permissions relate to managing projects and users, system resources, and other general system tasks. Project level permissions relate to designing load tests, managing resources, and running load tests. Let's look at the Viewer role in the Project tab. The Viewer role includes only runtime permissions. Let's create a project level role that enables the user to run and design load tests as well as restart the project machine. When we click New, a new role is added in the Project tab. In the right pane, we define the details of the role. Let's call this role Expert Load Tester and give it a description. Next, we select the appropriate permissions for this role. We can select all the permissions under one subcategory by clicking the checkbox next to the subcategory heading, or we can select individual permissions. In the Expert Load Tester role, let's include permissions to manage all load testing design operations, but not dashboard permissions. Let's also include permissions to handle all load testing runtime operations, as well as to restart machines. When we save the role, the role appears by its new name in the Project tab. Now let's create a Project User Role Assignment. In the Roles page, we click Assign Project User Role. This opens the Privilege Management page. Alternatively, we can access this page by clicking the Privilege Management link in the left menu. The Privilege Management page displays a tree with two nodes called Containers. One is the Performance Center container, and the other is the All Projects container, which contains all the Performance Center projects. When we click a container, the right pane displays the list of users that have roles assigned to them in that container. In the Performance Center container, all the users listed have been assigned one or more Performance Center roles. In the All Projects container, users have been assigned one or more project level roles for all projects currently in Performance Center. Users' roles assignments in the All Projects container are valid for existing projects and are also applied to new projects when they are added to Performance Center. Roles assigned to users in the All Projects container are marked with an asterisk. Let's assume we want to assign the role Expert Load Tester, which we created earlier, to John in Project Artemis. We select the Artemis project and click Assign New User. The Assign New Role dialog box opens. In the Role list, we select Expert Load Tester. 
In the Available Users box, we need to find John and move him into the Assigned Users box. We can look for John manually, or we can filter the list to find him. We select John and move him to the Assigned Users box. John now appears in the Artemis Users Roles table with the role Expert Load Tester. Let's assume that we want to give the same role to Peter for all the Performance Center projects in the system. We select the All Projects container and click Assign New User. In the Assign New User dialog box, we select the Expert Load Tester role, find Peter in the Available Users box, and move him to the Assigned Users box. Peter now appears in the All Projects User Roles table. Note that his role, Expert Load Tester, is marked with an asterisk. If we select any project in the tree, we see that Peter appears with the Expert Load Tester role. Note, for example, in Artemis, that Peter's role is marked with an asterisk, indicating that the role was assigned in the All Projects container, whereas John's role is not marked with an asterisk, as it was assigned only for the project Artemis. This demonstration has shown you how to use Performance Center's Privilege Manager to create roles and project user role assignments. We can also use the Privilege Manager to change a user's roles in a container or project and to delete user role assignments from a container or project. To learn more about Privilege Management, see the HP Performance Center Administrator's Guide.